Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. Now, this is gonna be a pretty short video, but it's one that I need to make because it's almost like a buyer beware for a future DLC vehicle that hasn't come out yet. But it's so obvious that it's a buyer beware and based on its proximity to the next update, it's something you want to completely avoid. So Rockstar has run through all of their new vehicles in the Smuggler's Run update. Everything new that they've wanted to add, they've added. However, there is one vehicle still left in the files that's either gonna come out this following Tuesday or the Tuesday after that, and that is the P996 Laser. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, well, that sounds familiar. Well, that's because it is. This is the fighter jet that's been in the game since day one. And Rockstar are going to be selling this to us for $6,500,000. No, you did not hear me wrong. The price is $6,500,000. And the only way to access this vehicle through Pegasus is to buy it and put it inside of your hangar, making it a personal aircraft. So you have to buy it. There's no way around that. Now, you might also be thinking to yourself, well, for 6.5 million, Rockstar are gonna do some awesome customization. That's where you're also wrong, because the only thing you can do with this vehicle is change the primary color. That's it. For $6.5 million, you can change the paint job of this jet, and that's it. So aside from becoming the most expensive aircraft in the game, there's other reasons why this jet is not worth it. Number one, let's talk about the fact that it can be found on the map already. So the laser can be found at Fort Zancudo. If you really want a laser, you can just get one. Now, you won't have the convenience of being able to spawn it in at some point of the map or going to your hangar and being able to grab it. But honestly, I think that is worth $6.5 million. The fact that you can just jump on over to Fort Zancudo and you can get inside and you can steal one. And with the fact that you can have a hangar inside Fort Zancudo, now you don't even have to have stars in order to get on the tarmac and take one. You can just grab one and go. There isn't any penalty for going inside of the base, making it even more convenient. However, the real reason why this is getting the ultimate buyer beware sticker and why you should not buy this DLC vehicle is its proximity to the next update. So as we just mentioned in the video I did uh, the other day, Rockstar has been and is updating the QA beta branch for Grand Theft Auto Online. So what that means is that they're making updates and changes to the next DLC in game. And that also means that we're likely about two to three weeks away from the release of the next update. So because of that, and if the laser is gonna be coming out anywhere from five to, you know, 10 days or something like that, you don't want to be buying this vehicle. This is the ultimate cash grab from Rockstar. So let me explain. Rockstar have priced this jet at 6.5 million and they've put it where it is so that people will end up purchasing it. They'll buy it and then about 10 days later, maybe even shorter than that, the next update will be released and you'll have $6.5 million less, which will maybe require you to grind the missions a little bit more, but ultimately people will turn towards something like a shark card, which is obviously more money and more profitable for Rockstar. So bottom line, do not buy this vehicle. It does not make sense to purchase this and to have the laser unless you are just a fighter jet enthusiast and you have $6.5 million to spare and you really want this vehicle. That's really the only reason why you should purchase this. I, there's nothing really all that special about the jet. Yes, does it have the explosive cannons, but there's other vehicles in the game that have the explosive cannons too now, thanks to the Smuggler's Run update. The laser really isn't the only one, and it doesn't have the VTOL takeoff of the Hydra. So there's not a whole lot that would make me get excited about this vehicle, and I know that I am not gonna be buying it when it releases. I mean, if you wanna flush $6.5 million down the drain, be my guest, but I'm gonna save that for the next DLC, and that is my recommendation for you as well. Do not buy this new vehicle. I mean, it's so obvious. Rockstar didn't even try and hide what their intentions were with the laser. I mean, a jet that we have had from day one, $6.5 million becoming the most expensive aircraft in the game. Are you kidding me? Not worth it at all. So. Don't buy the laser, it's not worth it. Save your money for the next DLC stuff. But that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know what you think about the laser, it's outrageous $6.5 million price tag, and so much more in the comment section down below. Are you gonna be buying it? If so, why? If you're gonna be skipping it, 
Tell me why you are, probably some of the reasons I mentioned today. If you did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, where you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.